here we are. After church, hey, uh, we went to Chinese food. Did that Chinese food good? It is we so good. We went to Jade Palace. This is Colleen, everybody. Hey, everybody. She's driving. Yes. She picked me up this morning. We went to Grace Church. Did you tune in and see it? It was really, really good. And if you couldn't go to your own church. And, of course, on the way over, I asked Colleen. I said, if you could murder one person. If you had to murder, you had to mm -hmm. murder one person, who would it be? She said, what would you say? I said, I First, she said, one, and I don't have hatred in my heart. First of all, she said, oh, Jesus. Because <laughs> that just came out of the blue. I just said, if you had to murder. Said, oh, I wish I'd had that on tape. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway, so if you had to. You couldn't think of anybody? I could not. I couldn't either. Now, if I was in the days of Hitler, I could go back and shoot him in the head and go out and have a steak dinner. That wouldn't bother me at all. Could you? I mean, if you could have changed history by shooting Hitler in the head with a gun, you wouldn't do it? I don't think so. I don't, I don't hey, know everybody. that I could do that. Just, hey, Mark Bridges. You started following yesterday, watching the video of you with, hey, hey, uh, good morning, uh, Marsha, good morning, Karen, Calbrizi. Yes, I was there with you. Oh, you were at church. Wasn't church good this morning? Uh -huh. Brett talked about letting go of 2018 and moving into 2019 and, and the great changes that we're going to make. And mm -hmm. Colleen, I kept nudging her because I said, the Holy Spirit sent you. This is, I felt uh. conviction flowing from the stage right <laughs> to this heart right here. Oh my God. Because okay. she needs to retire from teaching. Mm -hmm. She's been teaching how many years? 34. 34. 34 years. Fourth graders. But when you start to hate the little children, <gasps> No, I don't hate my children. I don't hate those babies. You don't? Mm -mm. No. Do you despise them? Well, no. No. Isn't that the same as... How about, do they annoy you? Well, of course, children can annoy, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's... That's what they do. That's what you... That's what you're... <laughs> so we went to church and Brett talked about... And you can go watch it. It's on my Facebook page. And I, I, I held my phone up in the balcony and, and record, you know, showed it on YouTube. But it's the sound is awful. But I, I reposted their post, you know, from the live broadcast that they do on my Facebook page. And it is really good. Brett is such a good preacher. Let's see what you're saying. I uh, love your praying. You have a blessed New Year. Hey, Andrew. Hello. Whoever else is tuned in. Hey, Patty Kellinger. It was a good service. You had a good service too, Patty? Good. Anyway, so what are you going to do in 2019? What are you going to do to step out of your comfort zone? You know, I'm taking a year off and, you know, see how that goes uh, to stick my toe in the retirement waters. But not, when I say retire, you know that just means from the road. No, I'm not going to retire. I'm going to be doing stuff all over Houston. Where I live, I will be traveling to see friends and all that kind of stuff on the, you know, just for fun. Because I do love to travel. But um, I don't know what God's got for me in 2019. But I'm gonna go hunt it. What do you got? What do you think God's got for you? Well, I'm praying about it. Like, how hard are you praying? Well, I don't think I'm you're praying, praying hard praying enough. That I, I told you some kind of sign. How many hours a day do you spend praying? about your future? I pray all the time as I'm driving. Pray without ceasing. Praying without ceasing. Yes. Yeah, ceasing. 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 That means stopping. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Uh, you can pray all the time. I know that's what Paul had to admit because he wasn't on his knees 24-7 no. when he said pray without ceasing. You, that means you just pray all the time yeah, in your head, just, I guess. Yeah, you you got to talk to somebody in your head. Might as well be God. I have all kinds of stuff. Sometimes I talk to myself. Do you? Oh, absolutely. And then, uh, do you ever answer yourself? Oh, I'm sure, yes. I did yes. the other day. Well, no, absolutely not. I was mad about something. Oh, that's yes. terrible. You're crazy, Lowry. I can't it can be. It can be quite interesting, actually. What's wrong? You need to see? Yeah, you had one. Well, she wants to see oh, while she drives. It's rainy. It's a cold, rainy, wet cold, Sunday. horrible Sunday. Oh, it's a beautiful day because church was good. Mm -hmm. But 
you know, the trees and the grass, they need all this. Rain is very good. Rainy days, you know, I was asking Colleen, because I've never, he was talking about 2018, like, today, like, we're glad to be rid of it. I'm, you know, happy to be rid of it, because it's the nature of things, but I have never had a horrible year, or else I have a bad memory. Yeah, you do that. I've never, I do. <laughs> I have a bad memory. I do have a bad memory, but I don't. But I remember the bad as well as the good. I mean, I forget the bad as well as the good. Yeah. No, I don't forget the good. The good, bad, and the ugly. But I've never had a bad year. I mean, that I just hated. Like, oh, thank God that's over. Oh, well, I think people look forward to, to something new. You know, a new start. Well, I mean, I have moments in every right. year that I don't want to live over. Right. But I'm glad I went through them because I've got that behind me. That's true. Everything's a test. Just pass the test and move on. Yeah. And some people are toxic. He talked about that That'd in the sermon. You, if you're around toxic people, I've let go of some toxic people in my life recently, and they're in my family. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta cut the root, you know, and then move on. Let the children play. You build. Keep building. Build your life. Build. Of the community around you, love on the people you're near, not on the people on the phone, on Facebook. You know, if you're in the hospital, I'm not coming there to visit you. You need to have a local church that will be there. I have a local church, Grace Church in Humble, Texas, and near my home. And uh, and I know if I go to the hospital, I'm not expecting y'all to come visit me. Because you're off in Facebook land over there on the side of the world. and uh, But I think that's sad when people's whole world is nothing but Facebook. Make sure you have people outside of this. YouTube and Facebook. It's fun. But I don't really have a year that I've hated. What do you think over there? No, not, not that I can think of. What do y'all think? I mean, have I you ever had a it. year, the, the entire year? You know, I mean, there are years, there may be years you don't want to go through again, but what did you learn, you know? I mean, you learn great things, right? Be patient, kind, uh, but also have boundaries. Everybody needs boundaries. You know, sometimes people mistake being loving and giving with being enabling, and you cannot enable people to just be lazy and, and self-centered and that kind of thing, you know. They can do that on their own time, not around me. But anyway, I hope y'all had a great Christmas and I hope you have a happy, happy new year. And I hope you'll find a church that you love too or a community of some sort. It could be in a home. It doesn't have to be in a church. The first church was in homes. In fact, I'd love to go to a home church, wouldn't you? It'd be kind of fun. That way you could eat right after. When you have the Lord's Supper, it wouldn't be a snack. It'd be a real supper like he had. You know, they didn't pass around wafers and a shot glass of wine. Right? Grape juice. Grape juice. No, he turned water into wine. Baptist turned it into grape juice. Hey, everybody. Okay, Jordan, I see some of y'all. Happy New Year. Thank you all for tuning in on this rainy Sunday after church. Mark and Colleen signing off. Hi.